All right, so here we're going to do an example of finding a second derivative. So we'll use the derivative formula at the bottom. Um, so here we're going to find the second derivative uh, for x equals t minus t cubed, and then y equals 2t plus 5. So the first thing we'll have to do is, well, find the first derivative. So the first derivative, dy over dx, that's going to be dy over dt, all over dx over dt. So the derivative of y with respect to t is just going to be 2. The derivative of x with respect to t, uh, so the derivative of 1t would be 1 minus uh, the derivative of t to the third will be 3t squared. All right, so now to get the second derivative, it says we have to take the derivative with respect to t of our first derivative. And then we divide that by the original dx over dt. We said dx over dt uh, was just 1 minus 3t squared. So notice nothing really happens in the denominator when you take the second derivative. You're really just kind of, uh, you know, uh, taking the derivative of the first derivative in the numerator and then again just leaving the dx dt part alone. All right, so um, if we take the derivative of... Uh, so I'm just going to kind of do the, the numerator off to the side. So we could write this as 2 times 1 minus 3t squared to the negative first. Again, I'm just focusing on the numerator for the moment and just bringing the denominator upstairs. Well, we would use the chain rule in this case. So uh, we would get negative 2, leave the inside alone, 1 minus 3t squared, uh, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then we would have to take the derivative of the inside, which is going to give us negative 6t. All right, so when we simplify, uh, negative 2 and negative 6t will give us positive 12t. And then we can put the 1 minus 3t squared squared back in the denominator. So this is just our numerator after taking the derivative. So 12t over 1 minus 3t squared squared. Well, all of that is being divided by 1 minus 3t squared. So again, if you think about uh, the denominators being over 1, if you flip and multiply, when we flip and multiply, we'll just be left with 12t um, over 1 minus 3t squared squared times 1 over 1 minus 3t squared. So I would probably write the final answer here is 12t over 1 minus 3t squared. But uh, So we've got a squared one and a, a 1 to the first power. So we can write all of that to the third power. And now we have our second derivative.